Welcome back to Master Your Glass. I am your host, Livio, and today we're going to talk about these two beautiful bad boys. What are they? One is Pernod and one is Ricard. Now, they're both French. They both have these very intriguing uh, labels. Uh, they're both anise flavored or licorice or anethol or any of those flavor profiles that you would like to add. They both come from France. They're both consumed as aperitifs and kind of like afternoon refreshers and they're both owned by the same company. So what is the difference? Well, I hope that I am gonna help you find that out today. Uh, I will start with Pastis. Uh, the most popular brand of Pastis is Ricard. And Pastis was created in 1930 as sort of an alternative to absinthe, uh, which had been banned in 1915. Uh, it's kind of to give you a similar flavor profile. Now, Ricard, is black licorice in flavor, similar to what uh, um, absinthe did taste like, but it's also sweetened, so it's a little bit sweeter. Uh, again, this comes in at 45% alcohol by volume, and I'm gonna taste it in a minute and give you some of the differences that I see uh, with this handsome little fellow right here, which is Pernod. Now, Pernod comes at 40% alcohol by volume, so a little bit lower in alcohol than this one. Uh, it is not a pastis. It is basically an anise liqueur. Uh, but if you drink it like you would drink pastis, nobody's going to tell on you, uh, so they can be used very similarly. Uh, now, what is Pernod? It is basically the mingling of two distillates, one from fennel and one from star anise, that are then mingled again with a distillate that has 14 other herbs and spices in there, one of which being coriander. Um, also slightly sweetened, so the main difference at this point after explaining that is really to see what's the difference in flavor and also how are they served. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a few cubes into my glass. Typically these are not, um, you know, as you would ice a gin and tonic all the way to the top. Just a little bit of ice. And uh, uh, also to, to keep in mind that the glassware here, you can use whatever glass you have. I have these that I feel are the most appropriate. Sometimes the slimmer, taller ones just kind of give you a little bit of a better effect, especially when these two uh, liqueurs will start doing something that is called luching. And luching basically means that the alcohol content of the beverage is dropping because you've added water to it. And now some of those ingredients in there are no longer soluble to alcohol. So the product just goes a little bit opaque. I am gonna go with Pernod first. And to do that, I'm gonna basically add one and a half ounces or 45 mils of Pernod, just like that. Beautiful neon green meets yellow color here. That is pretty cool. I can tell it's already going opaque because it's hitting the ice, which again is dropping the content of the alcohol. I'm gonna do the same thing here. One and a half ounces or 45 mils of Ricard, which again is a pastis versus an anise liqueur. And then to it, it is very common to basically um, just dilute this with water. Now, just to make it apples to apples, your percentage of water that you're adding to these products is really subjective and up to you. I'm gonna start by just doubling, so by adding one and a half ounces or 45 mils of the products themselves, I'm gonna double and add three ounces or 60 mils of ice cold water. You commonly keep these right, uh, you keep the water right in ice, make sure it's nice and cold. And now adding ice to the glass is very common and I would say almost always done, but also subjective. You don't have to add the ice to it if you don't wish to. Okay. And there we have that and that. I'm gonna just give these a little stir just to make sure that we are good. Okay, so now let's take a look. We have two different colors here, right? I have a lime green neon, very cool uh, Pernod 
to the right of your camera. And then I have this almost like, I don't know, chocolate milk colored Ricard. And the aroma here is just a very bright, sweet licorice. Bright, sweet, black licorice. Over on this side, I'm not really getting any of the spices that are in it. Supposedly there are at least 14 more. Very similar aroma, a little more subdued, a little less sweet on the nose. Not sure once I taste it. Over here with the Ricard. Let's try it again. Yeah, so Ricard is definitely drier on the nose than the Pernod is, which is why I'm guessing many times it's uh, Pernod is more utilized in cocktails than the Ricard is. So because this one's drier, at least apparently, I'm gonna go with tasting it first. Oh, it's just lovely. It really is lovely and um, it's long. Just when you think the flavor of that black licorice and fennel, uh, much more fennel dill here so far, but also that black licorice backbone, when you feel like it's going to dip, it stays there. It's really interesting. Uh, I'm gonna try another sip because it is the first drink of the day. Mm. Second sip is a little more dry and almost a slight little tartness, a bit of salinity on the palate. Very cool, very interesting. I'm glad I only added two parts water to it because that for me is doing the job. Let's go ahead and try Pernod right now. Wow. I'm excited to let you know that we have launched a spirits course on MasterYourGlass.com. While you're there, you can also find this t-shirt in the shop. You can find the Cocktail Clarity cocktail book. You can also find some free resources such as flashcards. Just go to MasterYourGlass.com and the course is already heavily discounted, but if you enter the code MYG Spirits, it'll get discounted even more. Let's get back to the video. Wow, way drier way drier. It was smelling sweeter. I was getting more uh, anethal aroma, but on the flavor, Pernod is way more dry. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Pernod is a little less playful and it's a little bit more serious about its uh, uh, flavors. A little more, I almost want to say monotone, and then I'm getting licorice, I'm getting that alcohol bite, uh, I'm getting little offshoots of anethal flavors, maybe a touch of fennel, but I'm not getting all that burst of flavors that I was getting over here with Ricard, which was giving me a little bit more things to play around with, including some of that salinity that I mentioned earlier. Um, uh, like I said, you can drink these both the way that you would drink uh, pastis, which is with water, even though this isn't necessarily a pastis. Uh, but I would say definitely if you ask me, I would drink Ricard more just like this, and I would use Pernod more in those absinthe style cocktails uh, where you're either doing a little dash or a little uh, rinse of the glass. Something along those lines, I feel like Pernod does a better job in the cocktail for me, and for me, Ricard does a better job diluted with water. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you know what to do. Please do give me a thumbs up and come back to Master Your Glass. Before I leave you, by the way, I do have an episode, I do have an episode on um, absinthe, which also discusses Pernod absinthe. So if you wanna know now the difference between this, this, and Pernod Absinthe. I'm gonna leave that link in the description below and you can check it out. And do come back to Master Glass with me, Livio, to get expert instruction for everyday consumption. Mm -hmm.